My name's Phil Willoughby. I want to talk to you guys in golf YouTube land about where you put your microphones. bunch of you are wearing it like a Rode Wireless Go 2 or the DJI, DJI type microphone clipped to your uh, polo shirt like this and that works fine if you're speaking straight out the front but if you adopt a golf pose look up look down look right look left twist your body it significantly changes how the audio sounds and can make it uh, quite hard to understand what you guys are saying and I really would like to hear clearly what you're saying because I want to improve my game. So I want to take you through some other places you could consider putting microphones that might help. Uh, I'm going to give you the audio straight for each one so you'll know whether it works or not. So the first alternative I've seen some of you guys using is to have the, the same thing but clipped to a hat. Now this should work better because it's in the same place relative to your mouth all the time as you move around it. It should uh, allow me to rotate, 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 keep talking, up, down, doesn't matter, should sound the same. Now the obvious uh, potential problem with this, and indeed with clipping it to your shirt, is it's very visible, uh, and uh, if you don't like it being in shot, then it's a deal breaker. So let's look at some more concealed places you can put a mic. Here I've got a microphone taped to the underside of my uh, cap brim. It's a wired Lavalier type microphone and that's wired through to this uh, transmitter, which is the same thing you've seen before. Now, obviously, if I were trying to do this for real, I'd use a black microphone capsule with a black wire. But let me show you how well this works. If I get the angle right on, on the hat, you wouldn't, um, it wouldn't be obtrusive, wouldn't be showing you that it's there. But again, the, the position relative to my mouth and the distance from my mouth to the microphone is gonna be consistent. So as I turn right, turn left, lean forward, look up it's all good but what if you don't like wearing a hat these are my concealed microphone glasses uh, i have a microphone inside each arm of the spectacles here um, you could just do one i'll do a spin <laughs> it's pretty obvious because like, you can see the cables coming out but if i wire the cable run the cables down the back of my shirt to the transmitters uh, inside my back pocket you wouldn't uh, know just from a casual glance that, I, that I'm wired for sound. As I turn right, middle, look up, look down, look left, do a kind of dynamic swinging motion while talking, that it doesn't impede the audio. What if you don't want to wear a hat and you don't wear glasses? There's one last thing that I think is an option for you. An in-ear microphone. Now these are a little bit weird because um, what, what they'll record is what your voice sounds like to you yourself. So when you play it back, it will sound like you sound like to yourself, but for everyone else, it will sound very strange. Whoever edits your videos can fix that with an EQ and it will be the same EQ every time. So it's not a particularly expensive thing to, fi thing to fix, but I just want you to know if, in case you were to try this and go, hold on, it sounds bad. That's that's why you, you are gonna have to do that one time piece of work to get, the, uh, get it to sound normal again. You can buy these uh, just off the shelf. They're going to be in a fixed position relative to my mouth. As I turn right, left, try and make a kind of golf swing, they're not going to start picking up my voice in a different way. In ears will be better at picking up background noise than other things, which is to say harder to deal with in video edit. And I'm going to close this out by sh with a montage of me putting, just so you know. Don't challenge me to a full, full bag putting contest. Hope it helped. Cheerio. Bye.